Welcome back. So we're going to talk about how we can add a third variable to our bar plots today. So in the previous bar plot video, we showed how to get uh, plot a categorical variable with counts on the y-axis and then a categorical variable with a quantitative variable on the y-axis. But if you wanted to add a third variable, you could do that through adding fills, uh, which is what we will demonstrate here using the plot nine or ggplot plotting tool. So we are here in um, the Google Colab file that we started in the previous video. We've got our libraries. We've got our data that has already been read in. And at the end of the previous video, we melted the data set. And this will become very important when we go to um, use ggplot to make this um, bar plot. And so we can go ahead and just get started with our ggplot. So similar to the previous videos, we start off with listing our data frame. And then we're still doing a bar plot. So we say geom bar, and we still need an AES. And so in the past, we specified an x-axis, we'll say category, we specified a y-axis, emissions, and then we did stat equals identity to say we want the actual data, we don't wanna do any calculation on it. And then we added the fill outside of the AES. And that's how we got a two variable plot. However, if you want to add a third variable, you need to do it within the AES statement. And so here we say fill equals source. So if we run this, we can see that now we've got emissions, we've got category, and we've got source. And it automatically creates this legend for us. Uh, so we don't need to worry about that. And we can see how it works. Now this plot isn't the most descriptive, nor is it the most readable. And so to show you a few other things that you can do within ggplot, we can first flip the coordinates with chord underscore flip. So if we run that, we can see that now, because it's on the y-axis, we can actually read what those categories are, which makes it a lot nicer. Um, and then we can actually add some labels. So we can say x slave equals emissions scenario. And note that I set x label. It needs to follow whatever you mapped your x value to in the AES statement. So in this case, when I run this, the x label is actually on the y because I flipped those coordinates. But the program is able to track uh, where you, uh, which value you coded as the x value and attach the um, actual, um, know that that's what value you mean when you do the label instead of assuming that it goes on the x axis automatically. So instead of tracking a specific axis at this point, we're tracking a variable and the program knows where to put that label based off of the variable. And so this is an example of how you can add a third fill-based variable to your bar plots.